Hello, my name is Celeste. I am an all cash budgeter with zero base budget. We're gonna be going over my, um, this is gonna be my first video, so bear with me, I will learn as I go. We're gonna be doing a paycheck breakdown for today's paycheck. We have two different, um, well, before I go on, I am 27 years old. I have been budgeting, cash budgeting for one year. And right now I'm currently not working. So you're gonna see some different um, instances. Right now it's been a little iffy because I am currently eight months pregnant and I am getting disability. So my check will, my checks will be coming out a little uh, inconsistent. But for now we're gonna go over today's paycheck which is August 26th with a total of $676. So we, so we can get started, let's go ahead and count the cash that's right over here. We're gonna do 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 450, 20, 40, 60, 80, 550, 570, 590, 610, 620, 630, 640, 645, 650, 660, 65, 670, 671, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76. Oh no, I think we got a little extra. I may have miscounted. Let's try it again. Let's move this one over here. So 100, 200, 300, 400. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 500. Right. 2, 500. 1, 20, 40, 60. 70, 80, 90. 75, 100. 600, 650. 655. 60, 65, ah. 65, these are super crispy, you can like see right here, 65, 60, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, so 676, sorry that was a little messy. But at least I got some crispy dollar bills. Last time I got crispy five dollar bills. So, oh, and it felt so nice. But I guess right now it's the fives. My bank somehow, um, every time I go to there, they always have crispy dollar bills. But it's usually lower denominations. Maybe next time it might be the tens. Who knows? We'll put these here. The fifties. 20s, but yes, we're working with $676, and we're going to go ahead and stuff. Now, because of the situation, like I said, I am getting a smaller check because I am pregnant and I'm getting, well, short-term disability of one more month until I am due. So we're going to go ahead and mostly run through, we're going to go through mostly just the cash expenses. Um, and, pro and only fill up one or two sinking funds. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it right now. Just so you know. Okay. So let's do that. So this is my cash um, expenses. I always do deposit it, but especially it's around the first of the month. So I'm probably going to go to deposit this later. But let's start off with the first one. So... The first one we're looking at is we're going to do $125. I'm going to get a 1, 20, and a 5. So I usually put it like this. And I always count to see how much we have. But like I said, this money will be taken out because I do have rent due on the first, which is only $500. Um, that will be changing soon because I will be moving. Let's go ahead and count it. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, five fifty, five seventy, five ninety, six ten, six twenty, six twenty-five. So six hundred and twenty-five. 
I always like to put the big bills first. That's just me personally. I would love to know how you guys put yours first. Some people put big bills on the top and other people put big bills on the bottom. So I always make sure my big bills are on top. Like we said, we have 625. So let's go ahead. I'm going to put it in here. Um, I'm going to do that. So 625 and we'll input it on our iPad. Okay, then we have medical. For medical, we're only putting $100. So we're gonna be doing, but since I always go every week to pay a copay, we're gonna take 250s. Let's see what we have in here for now. Now with the medical, I do track what I put in and take out. So let's do that. First, let's count our money. So we're gonna do, and that is my cat. Her name is Mystery. <laughs> I have a weird, I guess it's my short and simple why I call her Mystery, but let's count this first. So 50, 100, 150, 200, 220, 230, 240, 241. So 241. Oh no, let me see. I can, I forgot about my pen. Let me get my pen. special pen that I got from um, something that I got on Etsy and it came as a freebie but I guess I can't find it so we're gonna go ahead and do this so today is the 26 um, I just just put income let me put this I might just fast forward this part we'll see <laughs> plus a hundred and two hundred and forty one it goes in here Yep, 241, keep that. For medical, medical slash health. I like to call it health, but I got these as health, as I got my cover saying medical. So we'll keep it like that. Okay, so then we also, I go ahead and put it on my iPad as well. You guys can see right here. So 241. Keep that right here. Next is our phone bill. Phone bill, we're going to put $42. So 20, 41, 2. Let's see how much we have. We're going to take out what we have in here. So let's go ahead organize it so 20 40 60 80 81 82 83 84 85 so 85 dollars in phone bill so we'll put 85 right here next we have subscriptions now this one's going to be a little different for today because um i ended up getting a payment plan for one of my boyfriend's birthday presents so I'm technically just putting in a subscriptions for now including my gym membership so I might change it later but for now I'm just keeping it like that where now we're gonna put $61 in so we're gonna go ahead and do 20 40 45 Oh wait, you know what? Yeah, because we're doing, sorry, I kind of confused it. So we have 20, 30, 40. Hey guys, 20, 40, 50, 60, 1. 61, so let's just keep it like that. I hope it doesn't mess up, but I guess we'll find out. So we'll do that, and we'll see what's in here. So we have 25 in here, so let's go ahead and put that. For me, 
20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 86. So 86 dollars in here. Oh look, someone signed it. How weird. So 86 dollars going subscriptions. Then we have our next bill, which is going to be Discover. Discover is getting fifty dollars, one fifty, and I always take it out to pay it right away. I know it's kind of weird, but we're just going to put fifty, and there's only fifty in this envelope, so that will be easy. Put fifty, and then what I always do is I add it up and add it over here. So we're going to do six twenty-five plus 241 plus 85 plus 86 plus 50. So total in this binder, um, oh, it's gonna be a thousand. Oh, one second, let me fix that. I have to make it smaller. It's gonna be 1,087. Now, I am right now trying to get um, a Motown planner, but I'm still saving in regards of for these cash envelopes that you're going to see still in my expense binder um, for three different things. So we have food, gas, and spend because those are the ones I'm always carrying with me. Food is groceries, which I go once a week. And gas, I go one to two times a week. I usually stay home, so that's why I've been saving a lot on gas. So you're going to see... And then spending, I first do my save all of you first, and then I see the remaining and put in spend. So let's see what happens. Um, so first let's do food, which is gonna have 125. So I'm gonna do 125, and there's 10 remaining. So we're gonna keep that in there, just cause I have been going shopping more for that. So, and I never, put how much I have on here I just leave it on where the iPad is if you can see I hope if you can see right here yeah there go. so we have 135 in food groceries food um, okay then we have gasolina yeah me gusta la gasolina <laughs> just kidding but yes gasolina gets $50 like I said, I haven't, um, I've been carpooling a lot with my friend, so I haven't really been using a lot of gas money, but let's see what we have. So we have fifty, a hundred, hundred fifty, hundred and fifty five, hundred and sixty. So we have hundred and sixty in gas. I might not be paying some next time I get paid, but we'll see. So hundred and sixty goes in gas. Now, the fun part that kind of gets a little confusing, that may get confusing for some of you guys. I didn't check to see if I had my dice. So, let me check right now. Sorry about that, I should have been prepared. I usually have it in here and I'm really, really hoping, yes, this is what I do. Mine's a little weird, but I use this one dice and I do the save all of me first. So I use a paper clip to track where I'm at. And last time I gave $9. So what we're gonna do is, you know, it's kind of silly, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and roll the dice. You guys are witnesses to what's gonna happen right now. And we're gonna see where it's gonna land. So let's see. All right, it's nine right here. I'm gonna do five, so. Take it out. One, two, three, four, five. Chance. Pink one through a hundred. I hope you guys can see. One through a hundred. Since I am giving myself an $85 allowance, I think I'm going to just give myself... Wow. I've never had this one before. This is interesting. It's interesting to know that. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go ahead and just deposit ten dollars because I don't know I don't know when I'm gonna be getting paid next. So for now, just to be a little safe, I'm gonna put ten dollars in the save allopy, which is gonna be right here. 
So this is the adventure fun. I just keep it for the Save All of Beach Challenge. So let's go ahead. I was gonna give myself 85, so 50, 70, 85. So we're gonna go ahead and put $10 and I pick one through 100 and go ahead and let's keep this right here and deposit it. So now in the Save All of we have $40. So I'm going to go ahead and input that in there. So just to know, so, oops, $40. We're going to go ahead and, and erase this because I did want to still put money in there. I chose, I chose to do that last minute. <laughs> so we put plus 10. So now there's 40. So even if we go down. We'll leave it like that so that means i get 75 dollars on my spending i did also have one thing let me get my spending money that i have left over in my wallet like i said guys i need a new i need a new wallet this is a stay mad in one but you can tell like it's already ripping right here like ew so just leave that as it is but i always have um my spending money in here. Let's see what I have left over. I have some change, which I usually put in the jar later. Um, when it gets a little bit more full, if possible. So it looks like I only ha I have thirty dollars left over, which I'm gonna keep because, like I said, I don't know when I'm gonna be getting paid next. So let's just add it all together. Let's do that. Oh. So spending, we're going to put, we added 75, but like I said, because I spend, I don't have, I don't keep track of it, so I'm just going to put it here, but for reference, what we know how much we have, 50, 70, 90, 100, and 105 dollars, which I'm totally going to need, because I do plan on going out this weekend with the girls, um, for breakfast but i will really try to be tight with my money because <laughs> i may not be getting paid for like three weeks which is a long time for me i'm not used to that so let's do that and then we know as here we're all done with the cash envelope and the expenses so we're gonna put that away i'm still gonna count this so we're gonna do how much would it be for our daily expenses so food gas and spend so 125 plus 50 is 175. And 175 plus 75 is gonna be 200 to 50, I believe. But let's just double check. Like I also, now we're gonna move on to the sinking funds. This is my sinking fund binder. Um, you saw a little bit of it that we did with the save all of beat. So I'm not depositing any money in my baby savings, my car maintenance, my Geico school emergency gift, um, Ryan for my boyfriend, save all of B. I I did deposit 10, but it's only $40 in there. Self-care is getting $0 and there's $0 in there. I already went through all of these envelopes. Maybe next time we can put go through all of it, but I just kind of want to make a quick video since it is my first video and just kind of see where I'm looking at. Um, but there is one sinking fund we are depositing into, which is going to be our taxes. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and do that. We got 20. Oh, never mind. We did 25, 30. So 25, 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. Oh, I didn't mess up. You guys, it's good. I thought I really did. Wow. Okay, so this is going to be the first time we ever do taxes. Um, like I said, I'm getting disability for my pregnancy. So, And they're not taking out any taxes for some reason. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm going to start taking 10%. I hope that's enough of every time they pay me, um, for, especially including the family leave. So we'll see. 
I'm slowly getting there. Um, but yeah, so we'll add the 38 here. And we're gonna go ahead, I will always add this after, just to see, so we know. Sinking funds, we deposited $48 if we go down. And then, so you see 40 right here. And then we're gonna go ahead and add how much the sinking funds has total. So we have 3,638, that's 38. Well, I have. <laughs> 4273 Um, For the baby, the all of the money besides $33 is already in my bank account, but we will see that on the next episode, in the next video. Stay tuned. <laughs> so then what I like to do total is I like to see how much is going to be in every envelope. So we're going to keep it red, then... And I always put, and if you guys want this layout, as you see right here, I got this from Her Budgets. Really, really good. I highly recommend. I'll even tag her on the description below. Um, but I like to go to the total extreme. So I'm going to go ahead and add this. Even though some the money from the baby is electronic, I still like to add it. So we're going to do 4273 plus 250 plus 1087 so yes we got 5610 keep that there so yeah i hope you guys liked the first video that i ever filmed um sorry it's inconsistent that's just what's happening i am eight months pregnant like i said so hopefully i'll know more or less how much I'll be getting every two weeks or at least every two to three weeks because I am getting it through check I am not getting it automatically so I have to wait for it to come in the mail and yeah it just takes a while but thank you guys so much for watching have a great day have a great week <laughs> bye